What's up, boys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm on NBA 2K24, and we are going to see who would win in an all-star game between the best blacks in the NBA versus the best whites in the NBA. I've done these types of videos before, and there's always a big debate in the comment section about which team the light skins should be playing for. I typically base it on whether I think that person has the pass or not, but today I'm going to settle this by splitting up the light skins at random. I used a random wheel generator for this, and I'll try to show this in one cut to prove I didn't rig it for either side. Starting off with the highest rated overall light skin, we have Stephen Curry, and he'll be taking his talents to the whites, and he will join Luca in the backcourt. Devin Booker will also be going to the Whites and come off the bench for his father. The Whites are off to a hot start, but Jason Tatum will be remaining black. Shucks. Anthony Davis is a huge pickup for either team, and he's going to the Whites. Tyrese Halliburton will be going to the Blacks, but the Whites are back on the board. They'll be taking Jalen Brunson and Trey Young. And the last noteworthy light skin, we've got Victor Wembenyama. He will be remaining black but the Whites will be making it out pretty nicely with several guards and Anthony Davis. Starting at point guard for the Blacks will be 95 overall Shea Gilgis Alexander, followed by 92 overall Donovan Mitchell at shooting guard, 96 overall KD will start at small forward, 97 overall Giannis Antetokounmpo will start at power forward, and 98 overall Joel Embiid will start at center. Coming off the bench for the Blacks will be some pretty decent players such as LeBron James, Jason Tatum, Tyrese Halliburton, John Morant, Jimmy Butler, and many more. Starting for the Whites at point guard will be 97 overall Luka Doncic. 95 overall Stephen Curry will start at the two, which will work out fine because he'll be matched up with Donovan Mitchell. 87 overall Laurie Markkinen is starting at the three, which probably won't work as well considering he'll have to guard guys like KD and LeBron. 94 overall Anthony Davis will start at power forward, and 98 overall Nikola Jokic will start at center. Their bench is definitely not as stacked as the Blacks, but they have a good mix of backup guards, a variety of European big men. And if you haven't noticed already, this team is looking a lot tanner than expected. But we are ready to get this game started. The computer will control both teams. The game will be eight minute quarters. And just to make it really feel like a race war, this game will be taking place in Boston. We tip off and everyone's parlay has already been destroyed. Somehow the Whites won the tip. Lucas starts the Whites off strong with an 8-0 run after going 2 for 3 from the arc, but the Blacks aren't going to let the White Man keep them down for long. Shea starts them off with a contested mid-ranger, then Katie ties the game up with back-to-back 3-pointers. -back Someone might want to check Lucas digital footprint, he is playing suspiciously hard in this game. I'm afraid to say he's owning SGA in this one, but he dominated him 3 times in a row and put the Whites back up 7 points. The lead Luka created was enough to keep them in front for the rest of the first quarter. The Blacks were definitely creating more highlights than the Whites, but some Boston fans might say there is no need for this razzle-dazzle hoopla. And the Whites never took their foot off the gas between their fundamental shots near the basket and their ability to shoot the place up inside any public building. The second quarter was more of the same. The Whites were holding the lead at or around 10 points the whole time, and the chemistry was growing between the no-dunking tandem of Luka and Jokic. The Blacks managed to make it a six-point game at the half, but the Whites came out in the second somehow hitting some heavily contested shots. The Blacks finally got rolling midway through the third. Giannis made an incredible move by dribbling straight at the basket before hitting SGA for a corner three. As good as Luka and Jokic are, they have the combined athleticism of a wild boar, so KD found himself a wide open three on this pick and roll. Meanwhile, the Blacks kept getting stops on defense, and they eventually figured out that a spin move will put the white man's defense into shock. And now the Blacks have come all the way back and made this a one point game. The Whites started to pull away again, but Joel Embiid gave the Blacks a big burst of energy after dunking on Jokic and AD. If that wasn't enough of a reason for a Boston fan to give him a free cross in his yard, KD almost had the Celtics fan storming the court for the wrong reason. He tried throwing a lob to Giannis in traffic. Thankfully, they couldn't connect, but KD still was able to score on this play. And a few plays later, KD hit a pull-up three that gave the Blacks their first lead of the game, and the Blacks kept their momentum and the lead for the rest of the third quarter. But in the fourth, the Whites went back to their roots. Stephen Curry came off the screen for a spot up three and knocked it down. And even the light skins are getting whiter by the moment. Instead of going for the block, AD took the charge. And all of a sudden, this guy's looking like he could be a great locker room presence after all. 
With three minutes to go, it was looking like Lowry was being weighed down by his white privilege. He couldn't get around the down screen, which allowed KD to hit a wide open three to put the Blacks up five. Curry kept the whites in this game by hitting one of the toughest layups of his career, but the Blacks came right back at them by hitting Shea near the basket, who finishes through the contact, which of course definitely would have been an and one if he were white. Down five with a little over a minute to go, the whites are looking like they're in panic mode, but Curry once again comes up big for the whites and makes it a two point game. With a minute to go, Giannis has the ISO. He chooses not to make a move. He just dribbles in for a pull up jumper. It's off. Jokic elevates four inches off the ground for the rebound. Somehow Curry's open in transition and he hits another three to give the whites the lead. Out of the timeout, the blacks give it back to Giannis. AD is still locking him up. Giannis somehow dribbled the ball through the body of Luka, and he finds Shea for a three-pointer, and the Blacks are back up too. The Whites come out of their timeout and decided to just let the Slavs figure it out. Jokic ties the game up at 94. Giannis is still testing his luck against AD, and he takes another pull-up jumper. It's off. AD gives it to Curry. Curry finds Jokic under the basket, and he somehow makes this and one. The Whites are up three. The Blacks still trust Giannis with the ball in this situation. He tries going through AD, then around him, just to dribble it off Lowry's leg, then somehow recover it and make the and one layup. Somehow the outcome of this game is now down to Giannis making this free throw, but the Greek freak comes through. The Whites still get one more chance to put the Blacks away after the timeout. Curry comes off the AD screen. He has a good look, but it is off. This game will be going to overtime. In overtime, these two teams were still going back and forth. The Whites were doing what they do best and spamming three-pointers, but so were the Blacks. They did some thievery and pushed the ball up court in transition. It's gotten to the point that this white team is now using Curry as a screener on the pick and roll, which is interesting. And even better, Luka has an open lane to the basket here, but God forbid he tries to dunk. He hits the step back mid-ranger. The Blacks are now down three. It's typically been a bad idea for Giannis to have the ball in this situation, but he finds Joel Embiid in the corner who ties up the game. But just when the Whites were looking like they were in trouble, Curry saves the day once again. He dribbles his way into a triple team, but he broke the game. No one was even close to guarding Markkanen, and he puts the Whites back up three points. The Blacks actually gave the ball to a capable shooter on this possession, but SGA goes for the ISO, attacks the basket, and out of nowhere, Nikola Jokic blocks SGA's shot. The Blacks aren't fouling yet, but the Whites are letting everyone touch it, and eventually AD finds Curry for another three-pointer. The Whites are up six points on the Blacks with less than 30 seconds remaining. SGA tries isolating Luka again, but again, SGA is blocked by a white guy. He's probably no longer welcome to the cookouts. The Whites have done the impossible. They defeated the Blacks 104 to 112. All it took was a handful of light skin all stars and around 19,000 racist Bostonians doing their part. Luka Doncic was given the player of the game. He finished with 30 points and 11 assists, but Curry definitely saved the Whites multiple times. He also had 30 points and six three pointers. Plus, Jokic and AD both came through and had a double-double. Kevin Durant absolutely carried these Blacks on his back. He had 34 for the game. The second most points scored was by SGA with 17, but he threw this game at the end. Giannis somehow almost had a triple-double, and it looks like Jason Tatum may have felt a grudge for being left out of the white team in this one. He gave it his all. In just seven minutes, he scored 11 points. Well, my African-American friends, I'm sorry this had to happen to you in February, but I think we'd really have a close ball game on our hands here if hypothetically we could draft the light skins to the blacks and the whites. We just have to really make sure it doesn't look anything like an auction. And hey, maybe this is the solution to the all-star game that everyone's been looking for. The NBA loves to bring up race at every opportunity they have, so why don't we make a good ball game out of it? But that's going to do it for this one. Go look for a fight in the comments. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.